Hi, I get asked the question, where will the Lancaster NX611 fly from? Well, it will fly from the Lincolnshire Aviation Heritage Centre at East Kirkby, where she was restored to airworthy condition. I got permission off Andrew to show this map showing the layout of the proposed runway. This is East Kirkby Village and it's on the A155. The entrance to the centre is just here. The hangar where Just Jane and the Mosquito are just there. And this area is where the Lancaster does her taxi runs from. The dotted yellow line is the existing grass runway. But this would be too short for just Jane to take off from. The red line would be the new grass runway, 6,000 feet long and 150 foot wide. Virtually on the same lines as one of the runways when this was RAF East Kirkby in the 1940s. Work will be, have to be done to clear part of this area. So they do have enough runway at East Kirkby for just Jane to fly from. The runway runs north to south. The black line is north to south. This is the meridian line which passes through the centre. On one of Andrew's restoration talks, he spoke about the distance required for a Lancaster to take off from. And the minimum distance is 5,500 feet. How they work the distance out? The Lancaster to get up to take off speed, switch off the engines and come to a stop without putting the brakes on. They worked out the safe distance required would be about 5,500 feet. So East Kirby has a spare 500 feet of runway. Not sure whether the tests with the Lancaster were done when it was empty or when it, whether it got a full bomb load at the time. Anyway, we'll get back to the restoration of John. Commercial aluminium oh, yeah. wrapped all the way around there, and it was keeping us absolutely rigid, absolutely rigid. And when we tried to fit that on Monday, it wouldn't line up. So what we've done is we've taken the skins off both sides, which has relaxed this, and we've been able to, to actually line it up because it, it, it got slightly damaged in the accident at Woodford. Yes. So uh, when they've done the repair, they, they, they've had no um, idea of actually where that should be, but it didn't really matter. No. I see it's uh, got a crack in there, is it? Yeah, it goes straight to the rivet hole there, so it, it, it's fine. Yeah. Don't have to do anything about that. Yeah. Um, Why is it fine when you say it went straight to the rivet hole? For a crack, you've got a, you've got a crack in a piece of metal, you, you, you actually drill the end. Of, of, of the hole to stop it cracking any further. Oh, I see. Yeah. If it goes to a rivet hole, it can't go any further. Yeah. It, it progresses it carry on. through the metal. If it comes to a hole, it can't progress any further. Mm. That, that wouldn't be any good for flying, put that way. No, it, no, it, but it, it's, it, it's strong it, enough for. It, it, it made your repair, but it, it's strong enough to tap to. Yeah. I think you've got all these yeah. 230 odd bolts in it. And what about the floor? I see you've got most of that up now with this end. Yeah, the floor is. A it's a it's a real real mystery that floor because 
These are the original intercostal here. Yeah. The same as we got in, in, in just Jane, and this is the this is, this is former 28. Former 29, which is this one here, which is the one we're missing. Here. That's the end of it there and the end of it there. Yeah. That's been cut away in the middle. And there's a big hole been put in the bottom of the aircraft. This is this is because the Canadians for the maritime reconnaissance had a little radar unit in there. Oh I see, yeah. You, 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 can, you can see the top of that intercostal where it's been scalloped away to just just to miss it and then they, they put a, a bracing piece on the other side just yeah. to strengthen the top of it. This bit here which is the, the, the formation lamp casting, it's a magnesium casting, that should be up here. You can just see the remains of the, the hole in the skin where they've patched it over. Yeah. So they, they've moved that from there all the way back to there. So they can get the radar in? Yeah, so they can get this in. So is that going to cause you a problem? No, really. No. Not really, we really just uh, put, have another form of made and put that across there because we, we these, are, these two here are, are, are homemade ones. So we'll delete them and add that one there. Continue the former one there, it's not a problem. No. We'll be reskinning the bottom anyway. Yeah. How much reskinning will you do all together? Um, up, up at the front, a lot. Oh, I see, yeah. You can, you can see this skin is supposed to go all the way back to there. Yeah. Yeah. So, that, that one for definite and you can see all the creasing in it and, and where, where, where it was crushed in, in the accident. Yeah. All the skin at the top of course it isn't there anymore because that was absolutely no. total. Um, and I see this form is pretty badly damaged, this one, uh, 27 is it? Yeah, yeah, we'll have to replace most, most of 28. Yeah. 28 is it? Yeah, yeah front, front one's 27. That, one, that one's 28, we'll have to replace most of that, yeah. or not all of it. Yeah. All of 29 of course, because it isn't there. Yeah. 30, <laughs> there's a bit missing there. This bit here is, is homemade, so that should go all the way up to there. That's badly done, right. but the Canadian ones, they, they, they've gone in, in, in the side, so we, we can change them in quarters. Yeah. All these formers all different sizes all the way down it looks though like it tapering yeah, it, down they, they, they reduce yeah. in, in size as, as, as they go down yeah. as you can see so the one what's missing you've got to get the drawings out and make it yeah from the car you have no pattern to take one from no, no there isn't unless we take the one out of the Lancaster <laughs> I don't think that would be a good idea at the minute no yeah because um, the, the, the drawings aren't all that good because they, they don't give radiuses of, of, of curves. Oh, don't they? No. No. Um, you get some, but you don't get them all. Yeah. Like, like for this one, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the drawing for that one. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's the drawing for Former 27. This is the front half that goes on the back of the uh, intermediate rear fuselage. But yeah. it's, it's the same profile because they're both together. Yeah. You've got you've got a radius for the top here yeah. and there, and another radius which comes down from there for the very top there, and the same there. But for the sides, it's 17 feet 0.904 inches radius from where though. It doesn't actually say where it's from. Yeah, whether it's <laughs> up there or down there. Yeah. you just know it's now yeah. 17 feet. So you're just guessing. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just over 17 feet. Unless from, from that, is there, did that go through that? Is that a centre circle? Is it? No, no. This is this is this is just one of one of the holes for there. It just oh. gives us dimensions of one of the holes for there. Yeah. So it's got, you, you got the centre line marked, but it's not 17 feet away from that. No. no It'd be a very big be. Lancaster if it was. <laughs> yeah. So it's that's how the drawings are. You yeah. see. But when. So, yeah. But luckily, um, you it's not going to be airworthy, so you can make one pretty close to it. Can't yeah, you? It, it, it's it's not like it's not like working on 
Just Jane, if we had to make one from Just Jane, we could take one half off and send that away as a pan. Yeah. As we haven't got one, yeah. we can't do that. No. So we, we've got to try and work out what the profile of it is. But once, once we get all our, our string is in, and then we can, we can start working out a, a profile for it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so a bit, bit of talk backwards engineering. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Let, let's just do it like that. That's far too distorted to do anything with. We yeah. try and press that out. You yeah. just end up stressing it. And, and it, it's got a big crack in it. So what, what we've done, we've taken it back to the former cut down and inserted a, a, a new piece of metal into it. Yeah. Yeah, good. And on the end, was up there with that rotten hole in it. Yeah. So what we did, we've uh, replaced the skin again. Yeah. Because that's that, that's just a, a square oblong hole which have nicely rounded corners and that, that can cause stress cracking. Yeah. But to, to open that up, it'll take this too close to the yeah. To the stringer to, to actually put a, put a repair in, so we've done the same there. We've repaired the, the former underneath, yeah, uh, strengthened that up. So, uh, when you say cracking in the corners, I was watching a video of and the rebuilding that um, was same typhoon, typhoon, yeah, yeah. He didn't round the corners, and when he pressed it, it cracked. Yeah. He said, If I'd have rounded the corners. That crack wouldn't yep. have happened. But yep. he said, I left the sharp corner and he said, I paid the penalty. Yeah. I've got to make another yeah, one. Yeah, when, when you do that, you, you've really got to watch it and you, you've got to polish it as well. Not just round it off, you've got to polish it. Yeah. So it's really, really smooth, really, really smooth. So any, any little imperfections in that corner and you're, you're bending round that, that corner, yeah. any, 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 any little imperfections in, in, in that will it'll, crack and it'll, it'll go. go. It's, it's yeah. happened to me. Yeah, and it's uh, of course it is very hard material, isn't it? But yeah, it's flexible but very yeah. hard. The, th the, the thinner it is, the, the easier it is to bend. The, th the thicker it is, the harder it is to bend. It, it yeah. stands to reason. But this, this, the, the, they have got a, a not, not like a, a tolerance to bending. Not like this commercial aluminium. Well, it's, it, you, you, you can you can bend it, and it's yeah. so soft, it's a bit like yeah. lead. But when you get to stiffer stuff, you, you yeah. can actually overstress it and, and start yeah. ripping it apart. Yeah. And I suppose that stuff, if you work with it too much, will work harden as well if you it try. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got more chance of cracking yeah. coming. Yeah. Like, like, like be, if, if you watch Simone work with, with English wheel, uh, she's got to watch that because yeah. she, she's actually I should say, squashing. That's what I thought. When she made those, oh. I thought, if you drop that, would it crack with it being work hardened and really hard? Um, no, not as much as that, but you, you can only work it so much yeah. before it does start yeah. to, to, to crack apart. Yeah. You, you, you can heat treat it, you can, you can what you call anneal it. Yes, bring it um, back to the... And just soften it a bit, yeah. about 20 minutes to work it, yeah. and then it'll, it'll start to hard, yeah. harden again. Oh, that's good, thanks John. It's okay. Yeah, you get it on well. You know, um